Hey everyone and welcome to Find Your Flow. You are watching Sunset Yoga, but don't worry if you aren't in front of some beautiful sunset on a beach. You can be on the comfort of your own home, in your kitchen, in your bedroom. This practice is just great to shake off the day that you've had thus far or really help you ease into the day you're about to have. So hop onto your super comfy clothes and I will meet you on your mat. Jumping right on in, coming to a mountain pose, feet hips distance apart. Feel the earth beneath the feet, feel the support from the ground as we grow our sturdy trunk through our legs, our torso all the way up through the arms, neck to the crown of our head. Standing strong, standing tall, release the arms and soften the shoulders. Then come to close the eyes. And notice where the hands want to be. If they're yearning to be touching you, perhaps you bring them, them to the heart or the stomach, somewhere that needs a little extra love, perhaps the shoulders or the low back. Just notice exactly how you've chosen to place yourself in this space. And then come to breathe with awareness. Just inhaling and exhaling naturally. Keeping the knees soft. The hard part's over. You've taken the time to turn on this video and jump onto your mat. You might like to set an intention for our practice ahead. What do you choose to be today? I choose to stay aware of my breath. Choose anything else that comes to mind. You'll find five more breaths here. And on your final exhale, release the arms. You might like to keep the eyes closed or softly flutter them open. Come into stand at the back of your mat if you aren't already there. Reaching the arms up all the way towards the sky, finding space and then rolling chin towards the chest, coming down into our fold. On your inhale, lift up halfway, finding a flat back with airplane wings. Exhale to fold, rooting down to rise up, reach for the sky. And releasing really pull through the spine as we come down to the ground. On your next inhale, lift up halfway, your flat back. Maybe the hands are on the thighs or the shins. Exhaling to fold, rolling all the way back up, reach for the sky one more time. Beautiful, then coming back down into our fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold, crossing the right leg behind the left. Staying in our forward fold here, crown of the head down towards the ground, arms heavy. You might like to lift our hands onto some support here, so take what you need. Nice, and then keeping the left hand, we can either bring the fingertips onto the earth, tent the palms, or bring the left hand to our support, our brick or block, as the right hand comes to the ribs and spirals over to the right side. We can keep our hand on our ribs, our hip, or maybe we reach the hand towards the sky into a twist. Listen to where there's space, taking one breath here, and releasing, beautiful, step the left leg behind the right this time. 
Finding your forward fold once more. Keep the softness in the knees. Take the support you want. And then everybody bringing the right hand down, left hand to the ribs, opening to the left side, and then perhaps reaching up or staying here. Wherever we are, firmly planting through both feet. Beautiful. And your next exhale, release, coming all the way back to our forward fold, feet parallel. And then turn the toes out slightly. So coming down, bending the knees and lifting off the heels onto the toes. Just waking up the deep tissue in the feet and then start to rock side to side. Finding our little moving malasana. Rocking in our yogi squat. And we're almost going to keep this rocking here as you come to crawl forwards, keeping the knees lifted. Almost like we're coming all the way to a plank, but then coming straight back. So knees stay soft. Nice. And again, crawling forwards, really spreading through the fingers as we plant the palms. One more time. Nice. And this time when you come forward, bring the knees down and come to find a tabletop all fours. Wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Rolling the tailbone down as we curl the spine to the sky into our cat pose, really picturing this angry cat. And then lifting through the tailbone, tummy floats down, gaze up, cow pose. Be mindful we aren't crunching in the back of the neck, but keeping this Gaze and the head and neck and extension of the spine. And two more times. Rolling all the way through your cat and cow. But take your time here. There's no rush. Just really feel what you feel. Maybe you have a little wiggle of the tailbone. And just ease into the hips and the spine. And whenever you finish. Float back to your neutral spine. Tuck the toes under. Sit onto the heels as we reach the arms out in front. Pressing into the palms. We'll send the hips high, downward facing dog. Keep this soft and easy. Perhaps pedaling through the heels or you waggle your tail slightly. Really keep rooting through the palms if the jaw stays soft. Nice. One more breath here. And then moving in slow-mo, we're shifting our weight forwards, curling through this angry cat, shoulders over the wrists, and bringing the knees down to the ground, hovering them off just before they touch. Nice, connect to our centre, keep the fingers spread. Press into the fingertips as well to take pressure out of the wrists, and then coming down, keeping the toes tucked as we sit back onto the feet, and just shake out the wrists. Find our headlight hands, turning them on and off. Spreading through the fingers and then jumping back. Nice. Lifting the knees off the earth, hovering them here. Finding one more breath before sending the hips high, tailbone lifts, downward facing dog. Pedaling through the heels. And rolling the weight forwards, float the knees down, finding our hovering tabletop. Keep pressing into the palms to lift out the shoulders. Can the neck stay long with the gaze down? Nice. Notice where your attention is. Breathe deep, my friend. One more breath here. And as we exhale, take the knees wide on the ground, big toes to touch. Sit back in our child's pose. Ah. Oh. Breathe in, breathe out. You might like to take the hands one on top of the other and rest the forehead here. And then whenever you're ready, coming back up nice and slowly to rock the hips slightly forward, walk the knees back, coming into a low plank and softening down to the ground with the thighs the hips, the stomach, the chest, the chin. 
taking the hands back by our ribcage and a little bit wider than they might normally be. So if they're normally tucked in quite tight, can we find a bit of space as we lift more onto the fingertips, sending our heart space forwards, rising into a little cobra, keep it nice and small, and then floating down. Bringing the hands to the earth, making your way back up, tucking the toes under, and finding a downward facing dog. Beautiful. From your down dog, walk the hands back to the feet, finding a fold. Arms are really heavy, and then inhaling, lift up halfway, finding your flat back. Exhale to fold. Walking the hands forwards, Finding your downward facing dog and stepping the left foot up and then the right foot into your fold now at the front of your mat. Inhaling, lift up halfway. Exhaling to release. Bringing the fingertips to the earth as we step the right leg back. Bringing the right knee to the ground here. And take any padding underneath the back knee that you would like to. And then lifting out of the front leg, finding a nice, wide, sturdy stance in our low lunge. Bringing the hands to the shoulders as we start to circle the elbows forwards, round and back. Just a couple more times here. Nice option to send the arms nice and long as we windmill maybe and then coming in the opposite direction but listening to the space beautiful everybody send the right hand to the earth or to your prop as we bring the left hand to the small of the back and just spiraling our rib cage over to the left side into a twist and normally we we probably lift the left hand up but just keeping it on the low back here, really exploring this twist through the ribs and through the chest and heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Coming to centre and taking the left hand to the earth now or to our prop, bringing it to the inside of the left foot, turning the right leg out from the knee to the foot towards the left side of your mat as we bring the right hand to the small of the back. So we're sort of flipping to the other side, finding a bit of a gate pose variation here, opening through the hips. But again, rather than reaching our hand towards the sky, maybe just collapsing into this a bit, can we really experience this rolling through the chest and the ribs? Sending lots and lots of love to our spine. Breathing in and out, floating through center. Bringing the hands either side of the front foot as we step up into our forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to release and step the left leg back. Doing our same little dance on the other side. So finding our lovely wide stance in our lunge. Hands come to the shoulders as they start to roll around and back. Option to take these windmills. Really let your breath lead the way. And if we are feeling a little bit unstable and unsteady here, we might be on a tightrope. So keeping this two parallel lines, train tracks, sending your arms in the opposite direction when you're ready. Beautiful. And floating the left hand down, right hand to the small of the back, and spiraling over to the right side. Finding space, you might like to gaze up if that feels good. Nice, coming all the way back. Right hand down to the inside of the right foot. Flip the left leg round and come to find our gate pose variation facing the left side of our mat. Hand comes to the small of the back. Notice where your attention is here. Can we simply be in this pose without worrying about everything else off the mat? Nice. 
legs and making your way back to centre. Stepping the back foot to meet the front foot in our fold. Inhaling to lift up halfway. Exhaling to release. Stepping both feet back either to downward facing dog or child's pose. We will meet in a child's pose in three breaths. So if you're in your down dog, this will be your last one. Make it a good one, make it feel great for you. Taking any movement that feels amazing. And on your third and final exhale, bring the knees down to the ground. Everybody soften into your version of child's pose. the arms aren't reaching forward then bring them towards the front of your mat everybody walking the hands over towards the left side of the mat option to bring the right hand on top of the left and keep the hips sitting back onto the heels wherever we are knees might feel better wider or closer together just feel this and then float the hands through center and over to the right Coming all the way back, pressing through the palms to lightly lift out and scoot the legs to one side as we come to a seat. And then you can lift your hips up onto some support here from your folded towel or cushion. Everybody send the legs long, toes up towards the face. And take as generous a bend in the knees as feels good for you. We'll lengthen through our spine, really keep this length, this lift in the heart as we start to hinge forwards from the hips and fold, stomach down towards the thighs, hands rest wherever they lie. If we have a yoga strap or a towel or a belt, we might like this behind the feet. And we'll just keep this soft. We can have a tendency to muscle into this and pull ourselves a little bit closer Keep it nice and easy as we wind down. Inhaling to lengthen a bit taller. Exhale, perhaps we find a little bit more space in our fold. Nice, one more breath here. Before releasing. Lifting off your support, bringing the feet to the ground as the hands come forwards, curling the chin to the chest, we make our way down to the ground. As we arrive there, just hugging the knees in, rocking gently from side to side. Bringing the feet to the ground, just one windscreen wiper each side. So rolling the right thigh out, the left thigh in, staying here though for a breath or two longer than we might normally. And then rolling over to the left side, keeping the feet wide so we can send some more love to our sacrum and lower back space. Floating back and hugging the knees in a little wider than before. So coming out near our armpit space. We might like to stay here if this is great for us. We can come to an early Shavasana lying down or kicking the feet towards the sky. Keeping the knees bent as we explore a happy baby pose. Hands on the hamstrings, calves or outer edges of the feet wherever we are. Keeping our lower back and bottom on the mat. So if we're curling off like this, can we really root down, even if it means releasing our hands slightly? Then we might feel good rocking from side to side, perhaps lengthening one leg and then the other. Let's take 
what you need. Listen to what feels good. Finding a couple more breaths here. Before releasing and everybody meeting in Shavasana. The legs can be out long. The knees can be bent with the feet on the earth. Notice where the hands rest. And really take this time to snuggle in. Take any support you want, perhaps a pillow, a blanket, putting on some warmer clothes and then settle into the stillness. As we imagine our body is melting into the quicksand mat that we have beneath us. We've just worked some muscles, we've oiled out some joints, we've just got the blood flowing in the opposite direction, everything shifted. So this is a super important time now to just find this rest. Marry the effort with the ease as we completely soften here. Tension melts away from every single space in our body that we might be holding it without realizing. Let the breath come and go. here for as long as you would like to. And if we have to boogie, either resting the hands still where they are or floating the palms together at the heart. I thank you so much for joining me here, whether you were in front of a beautiful sunset or in the comfort of your own beautiful home. Delight in me honours and respects the divine light in each and every one of you. I thank you. Namaste.